Hi, it's Cheryl. I thought I'd do a quick screencast real quick just to show you how I cut iron-on vinyl or heat transfer vinyl in Cricut Design Space. I do have some previous screencasts where I show you how to make a Cricut ID and how to upload your designs into Design Space. I can link those um, below. This one really is just to show you the process of um, actually going through the cutting of the heat transfer. So here's the design I'm going to cut. I made this um, for a girlfriend's baby. I put it on a little onesie. And um, so this is, I, I uploaded it up into Design Space, and here it is. It's sized perfectly. Um, I want to go ahead and cut it, so I'm going to come up and I'm going to click Make It in the right-hand corner. And then it's going to show me my three different vinyl color mats, each with the different line of the saying that I want on them. And that is all great. Now, we can't cut it like this. Um, because heat transfer, we load heat transfer essentially backwards into our machine. So in order, if we cut it like this, we would be cutting backwards letters. So in order to get it to read correctly on our project, we need to mirror our design so that when it cuts it backwards on the machine, it's actually cutting it correctly. I know it's a little confusing, but just trust me. So in order to do that, um, it's very, very simple in Design Space. They make it so easy for you. You just come over here and click this button to on green. And you'll need to do that for each of your mats. So make sure that that's done for each one. Now. We're going to get ready to cut. Perfect. Everything's mirrored, and we're going to go down to the bottom corner, and we're going to click Continue, and it's going to find my machine here. Okay, and I want to show you something real quick about this, too. So here I have my knob on my Cricut Explore Air set to Iron On, and you can see that right here it shows Iron On, and it also gives you this little reminder. Make sure your mirror is turned on, and it tells you how to put your heat transfer vinyl into the machine. So it says place your shiny side down on the mat. So that's what we're going to do. I do want to show you really quickly, let's say you're cutting glitter vinyl because, I mean, that's fun, right? To cut glitter vinyl, we're going to move our knob to the custom setting. And what that does then, as you saw on the screen, once I, I set it over to custom, it popped up all these different options here. And these are the popular ones. You can also click over here to browse all the materials they have. So if we were to select, we would just select this glitter right here. And then that's telling your Cricut everything it needs to know to cut the material. So, so easy to do that. But I'm just cutting regular today, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it back to iron-on. And here we have our um, warning. We've mirrored like we should. We've put our shiny side down on our mat. So we're going to go on to step two, which is load our tools and mat. My blade is already loaded, and I'm just going to go ahead and press the arrow button, which is going to load my mat into my machine. Then it obviously it moves right on to step three for you and tells you to press go, which is the blinking little cricket light on your machine. So that's going to start cutting. And on the first mat, it's going to show you this little, um, the little turn wheel just to tell you what the progress is. Perfect. So when it's done cutting the yellow mat, you'll get this little note on the, the top telling you to unload the mat by pressing the unload button. That's the arrow button. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And the little warning is going to go away. And then you can see the yellow mat right here has a check mark. So it's just letting you know we've already cut that. So now the second mat is highlighted and we're going to do the exact same thing for the second and the third mats. So now we've done all three of our mats. And you can see here that I just unloaded the last one. All three are checkmarked, so we're good to go. Um, if you didn't have a design with three colors, you would be finished after your first mat. But, I mean, like I like to use all the colors, right? So that's how you do multiple colors. But if you just had one color, you'd be done after the first time. And then you would be on this screen right here. And then the bottom right, you would just click Finish. And that would tell your machine that you're done cutting. So super easy. I think the biggest takeaway here is just to remember to mirror your design. Um, I can personally tell you how much iron-on I've wasted by forgetting to mirror, but Cricut does make it super easy for you to remember with the warnings and with that easy button there. Um, so just remember, always mirror your design.